Good morning. Happy Monday. God bless us all. Um, look at that fountain. It's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, welcome to my uh, daily devotion and prayers. Uh, I've decided to make some videos uh, para sa ating lahat. For me, myself. Okay, let's start now. Uh, slowly inhale. Exhale as you uh, visualize of letting go of all your concerns and worries for the day. Uh, repeat as needed as you make a space in your mind and heart uh, for this special time with God. We're going to have a special time with God. Now let me share a uh, Bible verse to you uh, and let's honor God. For since the creation of the world, the world, God's invincible qualities, His eternal power, and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that people are without excuse. That's uh, Romans chapter one, uh, verse twenty. Brothers and sisters, let's take a moment to reflect on this one, on this Bible verse that I just uh, read to you guys. What comes to uh, what comes to mind, ba, when you think about uh, God's nature? Ano ang unang uh, mo? For example, for me, what comes to my mind is uh, John 3:16, and I'll repeat that. For you guys, but uh, let me know, John 3, it seems very popular. Uh, for God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whomever believes in Him shall not perish, but will have an eternal life. Amen. Diba? God love us all so much and to send Jesus Christ to save us all from this world. That is a very loving God indeed we have. Now, brothers and sisters, what is yours? What comes to mind when you think about uh, God's nature? And say those things out loud. As you do, think about how God's divine attributes and that have revealed his eternal power in your life sa, sa buhay mo this is your moment to be with him to be a bit closer to have him to have that personal conversation with our Lord Almighty this is your moment to talk to him tell him all your worries lahat ng worries mo he is listening always always listening to us He's the only one who's 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365 a day. Open palagi. He's listening to you guys. When you are feeling down and out, diba, uh, we often look to family and loved ones for encouragement. And in addition, uh, for many people, uh, yung Bible, it provides it provide us meaning, meaningful verses. And related stories sometimes we can relate some stories on the Bible that help us pull out of our slump in the Bible you can uh, find marami reassuring uh, Bible verses about um, hope that are encouraging uplifting as well as Bible verses about healing yan marami din ng, uh, healing power and Bible scripture can serve as a great reminder that with a little faith, strength can always be found even when things everything is lost, like what we're having right now, a pandemic, or you have any personal uh, worries. Whether you are feeling spiritually, mentally, or physically weak at the moment, I hope this simple message of mine will help you to find strength and also help you find courage, peace, 
and calm within you and around you to face today's world. Uh, now, uh, let us pray. Please pray with me, brothers. Uh, dear God, please give me strength when I am weak, love when I feel forsaken, courage when I am afraid, wisdom when I'm feeling foolish, comfort when I am alone, hope when I feel rejected, and peace when I am in turmoil. Amen. Brothers and sisters, please pray for me, and I will pray for you. Please pray for me and my family, and I will pray for you and your family too. Uh, in closing, brothers and sisters, before leaving this morning, either from work or you just woke up or you're doing some errands, uh, give yourself a space to process your conversation with God. Uh, that's very intimate, right? Right? I appreciate for, for liking this video and comments are all welcome so I can uh, continue to inspire, encourage each and everyone to pray to our God, our Lord. Uh, amen. Okay. Marami kong salamat. Uh, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. God bless you all. In Jesus Christ. Amen. Love you guys all.